What would you think if I told you that right near my house was a little area called Healy Dell? And in Healy Dell, there's a World War II ammunition site hidden. There's an old steam railway with some fantastic things that I've gone to hunt for. And there's a fairy falls full of folklore. What do you think of that? Right, this is the old railway line then. So this was a steam line that was built that went from Rochdale to Bakeup and it was opened in 1881. So this is two bridge. Now there's two bridges because this first one on this side, what you're looking at here, they built this first for the railway and they built it wrong. Can you believe it? Victorians did it wrong and it started collapsing. So what they did is they had to reroute the railway and build a, another bridge behind it. So that's two bridges over there. Now it's a little known fact, but one of my interests that I like, that I keep secret, is steam trains. I've always liked steam trains. Ah, now this is interesting, this thing that Diggy's about to have a wee on. I bet, it's, I bet he does. Oh, he's so predictable. It's a 14 marker and it means it's exactly 14 miles to Victoria Station from here. It's a shame there's so many trees, you can't see it properly. bit of engineering at its best size. They didn't scrimp in the old days, did they? A little bit of carving. They just put carving bits on everything, didn't they? It's got this which is Old Mill in Thrutch. That's Anglo-Saxon that, that's a lot of Anglo-Saxon in that, Old Mill in Thrutch. What it means is the Old Mill in the Thrutch. That's what it means. Anyway, it was built in about 1676 and it's just down there. It's got, it's all very excited now. Oh, he's trying to get near the edge, that's why he's on the lead. It's just crazy. Oh, okay. Right, not going down there, it's too dangerous. Right, well, this is where the big water wheel would have gone. You see it's water wheel sort of shape. And that little bridge there, there used to be two of them. There was one there. I'm not sure if it was here or a bit of it. But we had a big storm a few years ago. And it, it, it washed one of the bridges down. Oh, there it was, the other one. You can see all the bits of bricks, can't you? See all the, the, the bricks there. They're digging it's like lunatic. They'd be in there, just being washed away. Now, this is a sort of beauty you're going to be exposed to in a minute. Look at that. That's beautiful, isn't it? Dig your dog, go near the edge. Look, you danger dog. Come away. Get a drink if you need one. Isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. I feel like I'm in, in some sort of other world when I'm here. It's 
absolutely beautiful. Do you know what's just happened? The worst thing in the world that could ever happen when you're out dog walking. Can you guess what it is? Yeah, Diggy did a poo, so I picked it up and stuck my little finger through the bag and touched his poo. I'm going to have to go down to that water and wash my hand. I feel that it makes me feel awful. Have you ever touched your dog's poo <laughs> by accident? <laughs> well, you wouldn't do it on purpose, would you? Well, you might do if you're a bit funny. Them are funny mushrooms, aren't they growing on that? Sort of mushrooms are them? Can you see them? You know, a lot of people say Rochdale's a bit of a dump, but it's unfair, you know, because Rochdale is one of the most beautiful places you could live in if you know where to go. If you just want to hang around in the town centre, then you might be right. But if you want to just go and have a look at the beauty of Rochdale, it's all around. <laughs> Diggy, come on, let's get back in here. Well, you know, always got to be trying to ruin everything, aren't you? I'm not bringing you again if you're going to be danger dog. Just look like everybody else. Now, this is called Fairies Chapel, and there's meant to be fairies here. Now, about no diggy, get back in. Beautiful, isn't it? Apart from the uh, black ruby comp that someone's thrown in. Look at it. I can't tell yet. It's magical. It's absolutely magical. Robin steps out with again. Sit down then. You're sitting. Sit. Well, now we're off to hunt some World War II stuff. Now this place, because it's so hidden with the trees and the creek and everything, what are you doing? Was actually um, where they made ammunition or they filled bombs because it was hidden in the war from 1941 until 1943. And in that time, they filled... I've just got a bit of paper with the proper details on because... I always get it wrong, don't I? So I wrote it down. Yeah, between 1941 and 1943, they filled 136 million um, 20 pound bombs and 25 pound shells for the RAF to go and bomb places with. 130 million bombs! Imagine! Now, because it was so dark and hidden in here, that the, uh, the, 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 the enemy didn't. Oh, can you allow to say Germans? Did, <laughs> so. so it's a good job nobody dropped a bomb on here because imagine it would have been it would have blown up the whole of England, wouldn't it? Anyway, let's go find the remnants of the World War II. Nature just takes everything back, doesn't it? Look, that big tree there just decided to grow through the centre of that. I'm having that, said the tree. And the tree was right. It was. Marriage shelters. I mean, they were quite close to the factory, weren't they? If that blew up with 136 million bombs in it, I don't think an air raid shelter there next door would help much, would it? Come on, slow coach. What are you sniffing? Got to sniff everything. So I call him Sniffs is his middle name. Diggy, Diggy Sniffs, Teddy Ed. Ooh, big air raid shelters. Diggy, don't think we should go in there. Do you think we should go in? Go on then. Go on, Diggy, go in this air raid shelter. Come on, let's go in it. Go on, Diggy, over here. Ooh. Electrics there. 
What were they kept in here then? Why is it so long? Unless there was a lot of people to come in it. Ooh. There was a bit of a pit there, that might, well that might have gone to an underground shelter, right isn't it? Ooh. Come on Dickie, it's a bit spooky, let's get out of here, let's get out of the spooky place. Isn't it how you could build a factory that would run for two years and make millions of bombs and then nature just takes it back? Nature takes everything back, doesn't it? It's, it, it's amazing. I mean, I could probably find old bomby things around here for ages, but I don't want to fall down a bomb hole. Well, not a bomb hole, but you know, an underground shelter. You know what I mean? I'd probably fall down one. They'd never find me again. So we don't want that to happen. I don't like it here, Dickie. It gives me the spooks. Come on, let's go. It's giving me the spooks. Spooking me out a bit here. I'm not so keen on it. Come on, Diggy. Diggy, come on. Come on, it's a bit spooky. I don't like it. Do you ever go, do you ever go like that when you go somewhere and you think it's a bit spooky? Well, that's how I am now. I'm spooked. I'm getting out of here. I don't like the fact that there's water everywhere because everywhere else in the country is dry as a bone as well. That's another thing that's a bit spooky. It's not rained for weeks. Well, it's not rained since lockdown, actually. Come on, Diggy, not that way. Diggy, don't go near the edge. Look. You've got no sense of danger, have you? If you fell in there, that'd be it. You'd be gone, you'd be washed away forever. In the old administration room into a tea room and it's lovely dogs can go in there and everything and they've got a little garden outside garden here if you sit down now he loves sitting down in the tea rooms don't he Dickie? going up up go boy sit what might have i spied something on the ground today but i've not found anything i was looking i think you do that when you're a metal detectorist don't you your eyes just scan the ground all the time there's never a day i don't go and don't find a penny or a 5p on the floor because I'm always looking. I've not found anything of interest to it. Oh, I can see a ring pull there. A ring pull, that's it. Did you come down off the flower bed? We're just going to look. Well, it's not a wishing well, it's a little pretend wishing well. So I've got my ring pull that I've just found. So I'm going to throw it in the wishing well. Please, can I wish that we can go out metal detecting in the next two weeks? Because I can't stand it for much longer, it's getting painful. I think that should do it, do you? Don't we on the wishing we in the wishing well, Dickie? Don't we in the wishing well? Come on. Want to go home now? Come on. So I've enjoyed, oh, we've enjoyed my little tour of Healy Dell. I'll, I'm so lucky to live so near some of these places, really am. Anyway. You won't believe it, but I've got somewhere else good to go next time. <laughs> so, be lucky. See you soon.